welcome back to my channel. I am Noor from Bookish Noor. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. So today's video is a book haul and I have 8 books accumulated in the month of February. Among these 8 books, I only bought 6 books and 2 books were given to me free. Only one book is first hand that I bought from the bookstore and it was on sale. The rest are all second hand. So let's get on to the book haul. So the first book that I got was how a ghastly story was brought to light by a common or garden butcher's dog. Can this title be any longer? And this is by Johann Peter Hebel and I believe this is a German writer. So basically this is a Penguin Little Black Classics edition. It's about German fables, sketches and tales. And what I like about this is there is one of Kafka's favorite story. Fun fact, Franz Kafka is my all-time favorite writer so I am really excited to be reading this I like this little black classics edition because one it's cheap and I got it secondhand so it's double cheap <laughs> Second of all, it kind of gives you a review of the writer's work and if you're not really sure about the writer or if you have never read anything from the writer then this is a really good short book that gives you an exposure to the writer. The next book that I got was bought in a bookstore and it was on 20% off and it is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen and I have Pride and Prejudice and Emma by Jane Austen and I've yet to read it but I am going to read it soon so don't you worry the reason why I bought this is not only because it was on sale but because it says that this is the only version of Mansfield Park to use the first edition text from 1814 as originally published by Jane Austen so I am not too sure whether this is like a marketing thing I'm not really knowledgeable in the best editions of classics so basically this is her third novel and it says that this is her most complex work where it portrays change and continuity and scandals quite honestly I am not so sure what this book about but I've heard a lot of good things about Jane Austen so anything Jane Austen is good right yeah looking forward to be reading this the next four books that I got was secondhand and I bought it from the app called carousel and I mentioned this in every book haul I bought my books from carousel and if you guys are still clueless what is carousel carousel is a Singapore based app that enables you to buy and sell stuff basically I bought books from that app. I got all these books for $10. Um, the seller was giving out her books in a very cheap price and she said, I'll give you four books for 10 bucks. Do you want it? And I'm like, yes, yes, I want it. So these are the four books that I got for a total of $10, which is $2.50 each. Wow, so cool. <laughs> so the first book that I got is The Catcher in a Rye by JD Sellinger. I never knew what this book is about. I I think this has got to do with a rebellious kid, something like that, and it has a lot of hype. It's a classic, everybody has read it, I haven't read it, so I thought that I would give this a try. I know this got to do with uh, rebellious, and it's also a bad book, so really interested to be reading a classic. The next book that I got is the Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness and this is the first book of the Chaos Walking Trilogy I've been wanting to read the Chaos Walking Trilogy for years and years and years but I never got a point to picking it up I have read The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness I enjoyed that book but I don't really enjoy the plot. I enjoy his writing style. I've heard a lot of good things about this series. It's about these people in this town that has the ability to read people's thoughts. One day, this boy named Todd, he couldn't read people's thoughts anymore and he kind of got freaked out and he realizes that he has to run away because he can't read people's thoughts and probably people can't read his thoughts. I'm not sure about that. I have heard a lot of good things about it and I thought that it is high time that I give this a go. And the next book that I got from the seller is Looking for Alaska by John Green and I think this is John Green's first book if I am not wrong. I have An Abundance of Catherines. I haven't read that yet. This is basically a story of this guy who goes to a boarding school and he is this guy who doesn't really have an exciting life until he met this girl named Alaska Young and Alaska Young is really eventful. She's sort of crazy 
and exhilarating and stuff like that. So they met and things happen. I am kind of interested to be reading John Green as I've said, really looking forward to be reading this. And the next book that I got is a graphic novel. I've been wanting to start graphic novels for a while but I haven't got to a point of picking the right graphic novel for me. I thought that I would start with something very very familiar and that is The Alchemist by Paula Coelho in graphic novel form. Yay! <laughs> I love The Alchemist. The Alchemist is my all-time favorite favorite book and I reread The Alchemist like a bazillion times. Okay maybe that's a lie. I read it a lot of times and I remember the story by heart. So I was really excited to be seeing this in graphic novel form. This is my first graphic novel and it looks like this. I am just so excited to be reading my favorite book in graphic novel form. And if you guys don't know what is The Alchemist, The Alchemist is a story of this shepherd who has a dream about him finding a treasure and he keep on having this reoccurring dreams of him finding a treasure so he decided to pursue that dream along the way he met different people a gypsy an alchemist so it's my favorite book in graphic novel form i am really really excited and the next two books were given to me free one was given to me by a seller who decides to give books free in carousel sometimes they do that depending on the seller so she has a couple of free books that she wants to give out to whoever and i saw that book and I asked her if I can have it and she said yes so she gave it to me free yay <laughs> so the book that she gave me free was Into Thin Air by John Krakauer Into Thin Air is the inspiration behind the movie Everest. I haven't watched that movie but the trailer seems so cool so probably gonna watch it soon. This is a true story of John Krakauer's personal account during this Everest disaster. There were eight people who died in this expedition. I have heard lots of good things about John Krakauer and his writing and the books that he writes. Really really excited to be reading this. And the last book was given to me by my cousin. She is so nice. I'm sure she watched my channel. She subscribed to me. So, anyways, she gave me The Falling Out Stars by John Green. Another John Green book. I have watched the movie for this. I cried like balls. It's such an emotional movie and I've heard that this book will make you cry. Everybody knows the fault in our stars. Come on! Am I the only one who's always late in the hype? Yes, I am not a hype person. I always miss the train. Anyways, this is a story of this girl who has cancer and she is friends with a boy who also has cancer and their story and their love life and everything that's going on between them. I don't have to explain this. Everybody knows the story except for me. I haven't read it. Why? These are the 8 books that I have this February. 6 I bought and 2 were given to me for free. So yeah, really really excited to have acquired all of these books. Tell me in the comments down below if you have read any of this book. I am pretty confident that you guys have read most of these books. Thumbs up this video if you really like watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more book related content. Until then, have a nice day guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Chill out!